Hi, welcome to the Time for Tea Designs YouTube channel. It's Vic here today and I'm going to be showing you how I created this fun Christmas card. So I'm going to be using the Time for Tea Designs dynamic display card die set. And in this die there's six pieces. So I'm just going to show you how I put this together and actually make the card. So to start with, you're going to need the bigger piece. So this is going to be your card base. So all I'm doing here, I'm just running all the dies through my die cutting machine. And as you can see, they're left with an embossed line, which is just great because when you fold it, it just makes it so easy to put together. So don't feel intimidated by the size of the die because it is so fun And to included use. in the dies is this curved line die. So I'm just going to show you what this does. So you place it at the top of your card. So if you want to change the shape of your card, you need to place this die at the top and then you're left with a curved edge at the top. So I'm just repositioning this to make sure that it's more or less straight. And again, I'm just running this through my die cutting machine and you'll see here how lovely it looks when you use this piece of the die. And once you've die cut all your pieces, I'm going to show you how to actually put the card together. So then folded lines, you just fold them like this and this makes the back in piece of your card and then the bigger heel they come with tabs so you need to fold all the sides down on the tabs and then what I've got here I've just got some normal thick PVA glue so I'm going to be gluing this to the sides of the card now when you're putting this card together because you want it to fit in an envelope you need to glue one side and then fold it just to make sure that it's in the right place because it's quite easy to not get it in the right place and then it won't fold. But if you do want your card to fold, once you've glued the edges, just push down on each side and it will fold nicely into your card. So this is the second heel. So again, got my glue, I've just added that and then I'm pressing down on each fold just to make sure that it's nice and will go in the envelope and then that last piece goes along the bottom but I haven't adhered that yet because I've got some white paint and I'm just mixing this with some water just to add like some snowdrops. so I will go ahead and adhere that piece once this is dry so next I'm moving on to the sentiment and I have the Time for Tea Designs Let It Snow sentiment dies. So there's two dies and I've just die cut the larger one in the light green and then the smaller die I've adhered on top using some white card. So now I'm going to be adhering, I've done that bottom panel and I only adhered the edges that will be touching the edge part of the card. And then the same with the let it snow, I've just adhered glue to the part where it says snow. And now I've got the penguin stamps, these are so cute. So I'm not showing all my colouring today, I'm just going to quickly show you how I coloured in this penguin. So I've listed all the Copic markers on the screen. But if you are interested in a colouring video, I'd be more than happy to do that, just let me know. So for the penguin, I've gone in with a blue violet and then I've used a N colour just so that it's not too dark. So you get more of like a blue sort of tinge with this colour. So that's why I've gone in with that one. And then I'm going to be going ahead and just add in a little bit of shading. And then moving on to the body, I've gone in with the E41 and E40 marker, just so it gives a little bit of definition to the penguin, but you can obviously leave these white if you want to. But I just thought I wanted to add a little bit more interest to that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and color in his little feet and his hat as well. And in this stamp set, there's lots of penguin critters and you'll see them in a minute where I've coloured the others, but they're so sweet they, and all the accessories. They're just such a fun stamp set to use. And then I'm going to be adding some rosy red cheeks and then I'm going to be going over this with a white gel pen just to add some highlights. And then I've got the coordinating dies. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the dies over the stamped images and then I just secure them down with some washi tape. 
and then I run them through my die cutting machine. So now all my images have been die cut, I'm just going to go ahead and just roughly place them on the card. This is the part that I sometimes struggle with because I end up over colouring things or I end up cutting out like 20 penguins which obviously won't fit on the card. So I just do this before I then go ahead and adhere them down. So with these penguins, I've just used PVA glue and not foam pads to adhere these down. And now I'm just going ahead and using my PVA glue and adhering all the images down. These penguins are so cute. I absolutely love them. And the same for the die. This is going to be so handy with your card making and it just makes things a bit more fun as well, which is always a bonus. So now once all my penguins are adhered down and all my elements, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more die cutting. So here I have the Time for Tea Designs Fa La 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 Scalloped Slimline Die Set. Try saying that three times. And I'm going ahead and just using some white cards and I'm going to be die cutting some snowflakes. Now these snowflakes are so pretty and the details on them they're just absolutely beautiful. I wanted to use all of them on my card, but obviously I could only fit a few on. So I'm just running these through my die cutting machine and I'm going to go ahead and adhere these onto my card. So to adhere these down, I've just picked up the snowflake and I'm gently just pressing them upwards just to make them a little bit more 3D and it does make it a little bit easier to glue them down as well. So I've just turned them upside down, added some PVA glue, just like a tiny drop, and then I'll go ahead and adhere these onto my card. And you can see the details in them here. I'm, just, I'm going to be using these on all my Christmas cards, that's for sure. And then once all my snowflakes are adhered down, I'm just going to go ahead and check that this folds okay because I've got the let it snow sentiment die in the background, which is fine. Also, when you're adhering your images, just adhere the parts that are going to be standing on the hill. So that folds fine and I'm really happy with that. And that finishes up our card for today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a nice day. Take care. Bye.